Today, we are going to review oral mucosa. We are going to review the tongue, and then we are going to review buccal mucosa. Here you can see I have two sections of tongue. Both of them are covered by an epithelium, and the underlying regions contain skeletal muscle. I'm going to take a closer look right here. At this power, you can see that the cells flatten as they go towards the surface. This is the appearance of a stratified squamous epithelium. In addition, you can see areas here that are a much darker pink color. This is what we call keratinizing. So this is a keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium. The tongue also forms structures called papillae with the epithelium. This section here happens to be composed of filiform papillae. Filiform papillae are these kind of pointed structures that you can see at this power. Here is one filiform papillae. Here's another filiform papillae. Here's another filiform papillae. The tongue also has other types of papillae called fungiform papillae, foliate papillae, and valate papillae. However, this section does not show those types of papillae. Underneath the epithelium is the lamina propria, which goes from here down to here. You can see all this area here, which I am going over with my cursor, is the lamina propria. Underneath the lamina propria, this area down here is all skeletal muscle. You can see the skeletal muscle in both cross section and longitudinal section. This is the usual appearance of tongue. Let's go on to the buccal mucosa. Here we have a section which has epithelium on the top and epithelium on the bottom. The top part up here is the inside of the cheek. The bottom part down here is the skin. You can see at this power there are numerous minor salivary glands, which I am going over with my cursor. There is a small amount of skeletal muscle, and then this area down here is adipose. And again, down here is the skin. Let's take a closer look at the buccal mucosa. Here you can see that the cells flatten as they go towards the surface. This is the appearance of stratified squamous epithelium. This does not have the darker pink appearance that we saw in the tongue. Therefore, it is non-keratinizing. So this is non-keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium, which is the appearance of buccal mucosa. Underneath is the lamina propria, which is this area down here. This structure right here is a minor salivary gland. Of course, it will connect to the surface with the duct, but you can't see the duct in this section. Down here is a closer look at the skeletal muscle we've already mentioned. This down here is adipose. It is a bit degenerated. And down here, of course, is the skin. We're not going to go over the skin since the purpose of today's video was to go over the buccal mucosa. Okay, that's it.